How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about two different ways of getting rich. One is over the next 10 years or so. It's something that I am participating in. And I think it's a great way to make money in crypto. Then once later this week, there might be some way that you can make a lot of money very quickly in crypto later this week. I'm going to split this up into two different sections and we're going to cover some of the top news of the day because there is some big news in crypto. So if you want to skip around, I will put timestamps, but I would highly suggest watching through to the end because I think they will be really beneficial. And if you guys don't mind hitting the like button and the subscribe button, I really appreciate that. While you're down there, there is a link down there to BlockFi. You can get an interest rate on your crypto. If you're outside the US, you get paid every single month just to hold crypto here. And if you're inside the US, you can still get free crypto and they should be bringing back that interest program later this year or next year because they are working with regulators. So definitely check out that link underneath the video. Now, crypto is up a little bit on the 24 hour. We came up a little bit late yesterday, uh, after the morning time really, and we popped up from about 38,300 on Bitcoin. Now we're above 40,000, things are looking pretty decent, and we do have big earnings throughout the rest of the week. So pay attention to that because we could be quite volatile. Now, some good news came up this morning, some really big news that has big implications. And I want to put some numbers behind it so you can understand what this really means. Fidelity is going to allow retirement savers to put Bitcoin in 401k accounts. They're starting with Bitcoin. They're planning on throwing some other cryptocurrencies in the mix as well, but that's down the line. They say that they plan to allow investors to start investing into the 401k accounts and they're the first major retirement plan provider to do so. There's a need for a diverse set of products and investment solutions for our investors. We fully expect the cryptocurrency is going to shape the way future generations think about investing for the near and the long term. Now we know Fidelity has been in the cryptocurrency market for a while. They started holding regular meetings 10 years ago about crypto and they started mining crypto about seven years ago so they're pretty much on the forefront when it comes to crypto so how would this work well fidelity will let savers allocate as much as 20 percent of their nest eggs to bitcoin though the threshold could be lowered by plan sponsors they say that it would be limited to bitcoin initially and then be uh, then have other digital assets be made available in the future now what's interesting here is they're they would have to sell if they get above 20%. That's something that I don't like, but it, they do state in here that if your balance grows too much, you won't be able to contribute towards future contributions. So I don't like that. I don't like that it's regulated that much. I mean, they're not sitting there saying that I can't invest 100% of my 401k into Tesla if it's self-directed. I don't know why this is, but right now it is something that I don't think is beneficial. You don't have to reallocate if other allocations become too high or other uh, investments become too high. So I don't really like that, but still compare this to the other options we have right now, which is there's one uh, plan provider that allows you to invest up to 5% and that's not great. So 20% I'll take right now. That is a big step forward. Also, they are administering plans for a lot of different participants, 20 million, and they have 2.7 trillion in assets under management. Now, what does this actually mean? If they contribute just 2% of their portfolio. If they move 2% over, it's only 10% of what they can move over. Of course, there will be some people that put 20%, there'll be some people that put 0% that never put money in Bitcoin. But if the average is 2%, that's $54 billion, $54 billion. What does that mean for the cryptocurrency market? It doesn't mean that Bitcoin is gonna go up 54 billion in market cap. Usually what we see is when someone buys a large chunk of Bitcoin, it actually pushes up the price or the market cap about 20 to 25 X that. So with $54 billion bought of Bitcoin, that would push up the price or push up the market cap, I should say, about $1.3 trillion. Take a look at where we are now, 770 billion. So this would push it well over 100,000. Now, of course, this isn't gonna happen right away. These different employers have to start allowing their employees to start buying Bitcoin, right? That's something that is kind of frowned upon right now. There are gonna be some questions when you wanna invest in Bitcoin to make sure you actually understand it. Now, one company that's already implementing this is MicroStrategy. They just announced today that they're going to allow their employees to invest in Bitcoin as part of their 401k portfolios. Obviously, they're a first mover. They always wanna be first in Bitcoin. And that's what they're doing here today. Now, we also have the fact that we could get an SEC approval on a spot Bitcoin ETF. This is coming from Grayscale. They made a case 
recently that the ETF that was approved, I believe it was just last week, this ETF here, the Tucrium, it was approved under a different Securities Act. So this was approved under the 1933 Securities Act compared to the 1940, and this does not have certain protections that were included in the last Securities Act that all these other ETFs were approved by. So the fact is that they don't think that there's sufficient investor protection already on this ETF, so they might as well approve a spot ETF. We also had the fact that pension plans are getting into crypto as well. I'm just saying this because there are so many entities that are gonna be buying Bitcoin, and there are gonna be people that get Bitcoin offered at the banks as well. I think that won't be necessarily as successful as something like a 401k, just because of the fact that uh, when you look at your bank account, you typically don't have as much money in there. And you think about it more as a checking account than a investment account compared to the 401k. So I think people will buy crypto a little bit more often in their 401k than just in their checking account. But maybe if they get a tax refund or they have a little extra money, maybe they go buy Bitcoin and hold it for a while. Now, this is all going to push down the amount of available Bitcoin. We only have 2.45 million Bitcoin left on exchanges and it continuously drains off. We have Doquan and MicroStrategy buying billions of dollars. So the fact is there is going to be a lot of price pressure on Bitcoin. There's going to be a lot of people buying it over the coming years and you want to be a part of that. That is something that's going to make you very rich over the next five, 10 years if you can buy enough of it. Now, something that's happening just this week is what I want to talk about next. But keep in mind that this is highly risky, right? I'm not telling you to go out and buy this. This is a partner of the channel, but they're not telling me anything to say here. I really think this will do quite well. And I know other YouTubers that are actually covering it, ones that I watch, YouTubers I watch, like Digital Asset News, Rob is buying this. And he has a much bigger channel than I am. I don't even think he works with the project, but. I think they're gonna do really, really well. And I covered it a few days ago. I said that this has 100X potential. Now, why am I saying that? Well, they're coming from the Tencent launch program. They launched MetaHero. They also launched Everdome. These did 175X and a 94X. They also launched another token that did a 35X. So average these out and we're looking around 100X average. Now, I'm not saying this token will do 100X, but it's possible. Now the market conditions are different. There's risk that comes with this. There are pre-sale investors. There are gonna be people that try to dump on the market because there always are when we see new token drops. But there's actually a real company behind this that is now adopting this cryptocurrency. And it's not just some cryptocurrency that's trying to form a company. And the crypto that I'm talking about is fame. It's this crypto right here. Now they just announced a big centralized exchange listing. They're announcing that they are launching on OKX. This is on Friday, uh, so April 29th. It's your, it's your chance to purchase fame if you miss the pre-sale. Fair launch is starting at one cent. So pay attention to this. This is gonna be really interesting. Of course, there's gonna be risk with this, right? A lot of the time these tokens pump up in price and then they fall down in price. So don't buy at extreme, extreme levels after it's 100 or 200 x that's probably not the best time to buy. Wait for it to come back down, but I think this token will actually do really well over the long term for a variety of different reasons, but they actually have this real company behind it. They're an MMA company that puts on real fights. They've had 5 million pay-per-view licenses sold, and they have a bunch of people that watch this over in Europe. So pay attention to this. This is gonna be really fun to watch, I think, to see this token drop, because again, if nothing else, these other tokens did really well. It'll be interesting just to see what happens with it. You know, does it 10X? Does it 1X? Does it 100X? It's gonna be fun to watch. Definitely pay attention to that. They do have a bunch of big influencers uh, in YouTube, but then just big influencers like on TikTok and professional fighters and stuff like that as well. They have 100,000 followers already on Twitter. So pay attention. I'm not saying to go buy this. It's highly risky. Like I said, they have, they just got done with their private sale. So this is not for the faint of heart. This is for people that wanna make quick gains and they're okay with high amounts of risk. So pay attention to that. If not, if you don't like that, that's fine. Just buy Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Check out the link down below to BlockFi and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.